Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tuscany and today I'm going to finish some damn dresses. So let's get into it. Alright, if you've been following along with my last two or three videos, uh, then you know I'm making some 1950s summer dresses. And right now I really just have to get some buttons on. So I'm going to just do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah. I, of course, had to pick the smallest buttons known to mankind. So, I need like 20 for each dress. Was this a good decision? No, but it's, uh, it's the one I made. So, here we go. Lace dress is done and it's perfect. We're good. I honestly think it's kind of hilarious that the most complicated dress is the one that I got done first without really many issues, but uh, I'm super happy with it. I think it looks great and it fits me really well. I don't have any qualms with it, so I'm gonna go ahead and hang it up and Check it off my list. It's good. We're good. All right, blue dress is pretty much done. I'm really happy with how it's looking. The only issue that I have with it really is that when I button it all the way up, it's actually kind of loose up top. And I, it's such a weird issue up here. Uh, I used my blouse pattern for this, so I'm not sure how that happened, but whatever, I'll just leave it unbuttoned and do this. I don't mind the look of that. It's fine. <laughs> I might change it in the future, but right now I don't care to do so. Other thing I need to change is this. It pops open a bit and I need to add a little button on the back just to keep that closed, but that's a problem that I have with most of my blouses. And it's also a little big, so I think what I'm gonna do is just take that in just slightly and that will fix that problem. So here I am with the green dress working on doing the buttonholes and I realized that I really don't need to go all the way down. Like yeah I want the buttons to go all the way down but I don't need them to be real buttons because in reality when am I ever going to unbutton it completely? Like that would be stupid. So I might as well just do fake buttons from like just below the hips down so I don't have to do all these stupid buttonholes. <laughs> Stupid. Also, I I messed up when marking out the buttonholes up here, so that's why there are some nasty pen marks that shouldn't be there. But it's on the back side. You can't see it. It's a secret. All right, here we have the green dress with the buttons on, and I'm kind of frustrated because I'm still having some issues. You can see it's a little floppy up here, and I just just don't know why. Ah. <laughs> uh. So what I think I might do is actually gather this up here and that will kind of tighten this just a little bit more. I also think I need to take it down on the side just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I need to play with this because I have no idea why it's doing that and it's frustrating me. Just a little irritated because I, I did take 
the shoulders in more, but it seems like I need it in even more. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, uh, dresses are pretty much done. I'm ignoring the green one right now because it's mean. And I am going to move on to making some masks to match the dresses because this is the world we live in right now. And I figured I have extra fabric and I haven't gotten frustrated enough with this project, so might as well start a new project to go with it. So I'm going to just go ahead and make some really simple masks uh, with my fabrics for the dresses. Of course those fabrics aren't thick enough or sturdy enough to make a mask out of so I'm going to add a few layers of cotton fabric behind it. And I think I want to add some wire in. I don't know. I don't know. I will figure that out as we go along. Okay. Okay, I have the fabric for the masks cut out. For the linen ones, I have two extra pieces of fabric backing the linen itself. And then for the lace, I have three layers of extra fabric because there's, you know, literal holes in the lace. So I want a little bit more behind that one. So I have them already prepared so that I can sew them together on three sides and then flip them inside out. And I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. They're so cute. They look like little pillowcases. Okay, uh, masks are going pretty smoothly, which is new, uh, but it's working out pretty well so far. And honestly, if it didn't work out well, I would be a little sad and worried about my sewing skills because it's basically a square of fabric with some pleats in it. Anyway, you might be wondering why I didn't put the ear straps in, ear hoop, 
things in uh, before when I sewed it together and that's just because I didn't really know what I wanted to use. So I've just decided to use a cotton twine. Not super exciting but it'll work out just fine and I decided that I'll put it on after the mask is pretty much done and I'll just sew it to the inside so that I can actually measure how much I need. Since it's not elastic I'm going to need to know just exactly how much I'm going to need so that I can get the mask on. It's a pretty simple day project actually. It's nice. Um, it would be very easy to butt kiss and say that fantasy would be entirely different and not nearly on the level it is today. But the reality of the situation is that Ideas and concepts and stories kind of come about regardless of the individual. They tend to be more of cultural or society influence in one person. Uh, good morning. Um, I obviously just woke up and it's been a while since I slept in rollers. So I didn't really sleep much. <laughs> there was a time when I was fairly used to them and now I'm not. So there's going to be a nap in my future today. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to go ahead and make some coffee and then I'm going to work on this green dress down here. Uh, I don't think the work that I need to do on it is going to take very long, but I've been putting it off because it was pissing me off. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and try to get that done this morning and then try to get out for some pictures today because uh, the other two dresses are ready to go. So wish me luck. <laughs> All right, I got my coffee. Ignore all the discarded cut thread on the table. And now I just hit, <laughs> excuse me. Um, and now I basically get to do what I was talking about earlier that I never actually finished. Um, I need to, oh, can you focus please? So I basically need to undo all of this in this area. Then I need to take this in a bit more I'm really struggling with the focus today. So I need to take it in about an inch and then I'm going to gather this up a bit. So we will see how that goes. I think I might need to chug some coffee first because I put down my seam ripper and now I can't find it. Seriously, where is it? <laughs> well, I definitely feel like I look the part, but I think I've solved the problem here. It's still a little floppy but much better than it was. I'm not really sure where that's coming from, but I'm fine with it, whatever. Uh, I do need to fix the raw edges right up here, but besides that, it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean those up and then try to get out and do some final shots.
You know, when I was a kid, I used to uh, love to do like the spin and sit thing so that your, your the skirt was like all in a circle around you. My mom could not get me into any dress that did not spin. If it didn't spin, there was no use in wearing it. <laughs> kind of haven't really changed. <laughs> All right, so there you have three finally done dresses for summer. <laughs> hmm. It's funny, when I started this project, I started with the idea that I would make five dresses. I'd make five summer dresses. It would be easy. I thought it would be easy because I thought I had my shit mastered because I did the whole plaid outfit thing. And that was a lie. <laughs> Sewing is hard. I still have so much to learn and I'm still just kind of blindly stumbling along trying to figure out what the frick I'm doing. But what is life if you're not learning and you're not growing? Overall, I'm really happy with how these turned out. I think they are beautiful and I think they fit me well. Obviously, there are some issues with them, but the green one, I have that weird issue with the neckline. And then with the blue one, I've got that strange overlapping issue with the all the way button up thing, which I'm not too worried about right now. I'm not going to think about it. I'm not gonna do anything with it at this moment. Uh, I'll just have it flipped out for the time being. But in the future, I might consider trying to fix that because I do like the look of the full button up. But as of right now, I'm done. I don't care. It is what it is. And with this one, it's got like a weird, like I think this side comes up a little bit higher than this side. So it's got like a weird thing here. But you know what? I don't care. It's fine. But I do love this dress. I love the weight of the lace. It is really satisfying. And the way the dress spins is just, it's so perfect. <laughs> yeah. All right, that is about all I'm going to say on that topic. I learned some stuff and I still have lots of stuff to learn. I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle. Once again, go ahead and leave comments down below, like this video, or even subscribe. Stay sane, stay safe, and stay healthy, and I'll see y'all next time.